how are you? So today, Thursday, the 14th of May, we are going to check pages from the exam maximizer, uh, 32 and 33. In class, we are going to do uh, pages 54, 55 and 56 from the class book. Be used to, uh, you have the essay explanation too. Uh, be used to plus ing, get used to plus int, ng plus essay explanation. Yes, okay. Then you will have to write an essay from the homework to the Google Classroom and uh, pages 34 and 35, only exercises 1, 2 and 3 from page 35. Coma, eh, facilitar a tu mamá que entre a ver las cositas que vas haciendo porque quería ver tu video la otra vez de, de, de lo que hiciste. Ah, vaya mostrándole a los papás lo que van haciendo en el classroom, chicos, porque si no están perdidos, ¿sí? Emily, yo ayer le expliqué más o menos a tu mamá, ¿sí? Porque quería saber que, cómo estábamos calificando y eso, y está re contra mega archi calificado. Está todo en el, en el classroom, facilítense, facilítenle su, su coach el código que tienen para entrar, ¿sí? Eh, ¿Qué otra cosa más? Eh, Paula, I want you to send me again the, um, the writing because it wasn't in PDF, okay? Everything you send to me, yes, okay, must be in PDF. Is it clear? Yes, all right. ¿Qué más? Um, well, that's all. So let's go very quickly to pages 32 and 33. Number one, let's Number two, could. Number three, about. I'm in exercise one. Number four, might. Number five, don't. Number six, work. Number seven, sure. Number eight, agree. Exercise two. Yes? Good. That might work. I'm not too sure. Okay? Then, number three, mean. Two, right. Three, depends. Number four, would. Number five, could. Number six, maybe. Number seven, idea. Number eight, then. Number nine, about. Number ten, not. Yes, let's go to page 33. One, exchanged, is number two. Yes, two. One, E. Two, G. Three, A. Four, C. Five, F. And six, B. Correct the activity book, please. Put a tick if it is okay and cross if it is wrong. Yes. Number three, odd. Number two, um, very strange is odd. Number two, with no value is uh, worth less. Number three, useful, handy. Number four, glanced, looked quickly. Number five, odd jobs. Yes, simple and uh, odd jobs, simple and different work. Number six, not important, is irrelevant, okay? Bye-bye, activity book, okay? And let's go to um, page 54 from the class book, yes? To the day on pages 54, 55, and 56, okay? Well, so I want you to uh, look at the... Um, Unit five. Okay, look at the two pictures here. Look at the two pictures here. Yes, okay. And I want you to describe the pictures. Yes, describe the pictures. What can you see there? Uh, in the picture at the top, in the picture at the bottom. Yes, remember it. when you describe the pictures in the middle, on the right, on the left, in the foreground, in the background, um, at the top, at the bottom. Yes, okay. Well, remember to talk. Yes, okay. Um, for two minutes, more or less. Okay, uh, well, the first one uh, is a picture is, um, that describe, describes uh, and shows a small village, shops, yeah, shopping in a small village. The second one is about shopping in big cities. Uh, it's crowded, yes, uh, in the village. Uh, there aren't a lot of people, just a few, yes. A few people buying there, a few tourists. Yes, okay, I think maybe it is a touristic city, yes, okay, there are some little shops, uh, one next to uh, the other, yes, okay, and, and the second picture is about shopping in a big city, there are different kind of uh, shoppings, yes, uh, big shops, yes, there are some people who are window shopping, yes, and there are a lot of people with bags, Maybe it is uh, 
on sale. Yes, okay. Well, I have um, I have um, a jacket from Topshop. Yes, okay. Now I remember that I saw it. Well, this is by the way. Yes, okay. Well, I want you to leave it there, the book there, and I want you to pay attention to the explanation I'm going to do. Yes, okay. So uh, I want you to think about uh, the things um, you are used to doing. Yes, okay. The things you are used to doing. Yes, okay. So you have be used to plus ing. Okay, I want you to tell me the things you are used to doing and I want you to take um, a paper, divide the paper in two. Yes, okay, divide the paper in two. I want you to write one sentence. First of all, you are going to listen to my sentence and then you are going to write one sentence you are used to doing and one sentence you are not used to doing. Is it clear? Yes, all right, there we are. Param param. So, I am used to. I am used to. Esto no borro, chicos, porque lo voy a usar después. Eh? I am used to getting up, getting up early. Okay. I am used to getting up early. Fíjate cómo conjugué el be. Yo no digo I be used to getting up. I am used to getting up early. Yes. And I am not, I am not used to hmm, sleeping early. Okay, I am not used to sleeping early. So, you are going to write one sentence with the thing you are used to doing. Yes, what things are you used to doing? One sentence, I am used to, this is my example, getting up early. No te olvides después del used to el verbo con ing. Yes, okay, I'm used to getting up early. I am used to uh, eating vegetables. I am used to drinking a lot of water. Yes, is it clear? I am used to doing exercises three times a week and at the weekend. Yes, okay, more than three times a week. Yes, just for one hour. It's a pity, yes, but just for one hour. I don't have more time. Okay, so you are, you are going to write one sentence with I am used to and the other sentence with I am not used to doing, okay? Good. Uh, are you used to doing the homework in the morning or in the afternoon or at night? Yes, okay, good. Well, ready? And now, yes, are you ready? Yes, okay. And now, My sister is used to sleeping early. My sister is not used to eating a lot of vegetables. My sister is not used to um, uh, is not used to doing exercises. She doesn't like. Okay. Good. Well, um, are you there? Can we go to the other one? Now we have be used to. Ah uh, no, got used to. Sorry. Get used to, get used to. Escribí la gramática bien grande acá de este lado. Be used to plus ing. Get used to plus ing. Okay. Get used to plus ing. ing. Okay. Good. So, can you tell me the things um, that you um, that you suppose you want to live in another city? Yes, I tell you my example. When I went to live, um, when I was living in Mallorca, yes, uh, yes, wait. Yes, I want you to put like this. Yes, okay, be used to plus ing and get used to plus ing because this uh, paper, because you are going to stick this paper in your notebook there, okay? Well, um, the first uh, year, 
Yes, I wasn't used to uh, the place. Yes, I wasn't used to the place. So whenever you use uh, used to, be used to, you can put be used to plus ing or plus a noun. Are you used to hot weather? Are you used to cold weather? Yes, is it clear? Is it clear? Okay, so when I went to live there, I wasn't used to the weather. Yes, suppose I was, I went to live um, to, in London, yeah? Uh, the first year, it was very hard for me, yes? I wasn't used to cold weather. But then, two years later, I got used to, I got used to, Acordate, mira, me adapté. I got used to, I got used to living, yes, in cold cities. Yes, okay, or in a cold city, yes. I got used to living in a cold city. Or I got used to the weather. Okay, me adapté al, yes, the bad weather, yes, okay. I got used to cold days, I got used to the bad weather, you know, because England has a very bad weather. Yes, rainy days, cold days, yes, okay? So, can you see um, the example, yes, okay? You can get used to an activity, doing an activity, I got used to living, or you can get used to something, acá hay un sustantivo. Okay, y un verbo más ING. Okay, is it clear? Yes? Okay. Um, after a long period, it was very difficult for me to get used to giving classes uh, through uh, giving online classes. Yes, through the classroom. But then, after a month, I got used to giving classes. I got used to working online. I got used to working in the Google Classroom. Yes? Is it clear? Yes? Is it clear? ¿Te das cuenta como yo puse, me adapté? And then, I think everybody in the world will get used to using new technology for learning. I think people will get used to. ¿Te das cuenta como formé con el futuro ahora? Se adaptará. We'll get used to working online. Yes? Okay. Entonces, ¿qué te pido acá? Haceme. One sentence we, with, I got used to getting up early because, because that was my problem. Yes? I couldn't get used to sleeping early. But last year, after my illness, I got used to sleeping. I got used to sleeping early. I got used to my pills. Te adaptaste a una cosa. I got used to, I got used to the teacher. Do you understand? I got to listening to my mother in the morning. Yes? Is it clear? Then, otra. Another sentence with, I will get used to getting up early. Yes? Okay. I will get used to getting up early. I will get used to the bad weather. Yes? Okay. I will get used to the classes, the online classes, ¿ok? Entonces vas a hacer una en pasado y otra que te vas a adaptar. Una que te adaptaste y otra que te vas a adaptar. ¿Yes? Y otra que te has adaptado. Así jugamos con el tiempo. I have got used to studying early in the morning. I have got used to studying early in the morning. ¿Es it clear? ¿Bien? Bien. Una vez que está esto, lo cerras y lo pegas en el cuaderno de inglés. Ya, yes, señor Norte. All right. So now, is it clear? Quedó claro. Uh, any question? If you have any question, yes. Okay, you can send me a message. All right. Yes, and I can give you more examples. Okay. Um, did you get used to? Did you get used to doing the homework in the afternoon? Yes. What things? Do you think you will have to get used to 
Yes? Okay. What things will you have to get used to this year? Think about it. Okay, well, let's go to page uh, 54. We are going to do the listening. Are you there? Read the sentences first. Yes, because you have to complete sentences from 1 to 8. All right? There we are. Grammar focus. Activity 2. How long have you lived in London, Jackie? My dad changed jobs last year and we moved here from a small village on the coast, Garthen. Mm. I imagine it was difficult to get used to living in a big city. At the beginning it was really difficult. It took a while to get used to all the noise and the traffic and getting buses and the tube everywhere. Mm. Because in Garthen we walked everywhere. But of course, one of the biggest differences is the... Sh okay. I will stop the video and I want you to tell me which is the difference between buying, buying, look, buying, shopping in a small village and shopping in a city, in a big city. What about the, um, the prices? What about the, um, the variety? Yes. What about the open, um, the open, uh, uh, the opening time, yes, okay, the closing time, yes, okay, which of them, yes, uh, opens, yes, first, which of them opens late, yes, or until late, yes, because you know, there are a lot of shops in England that um, open uh, late, yes, okay, but they are until they are until late, yes, okay? They work until late. So suppose if you don't have time, if you didn't have time because you were working, don't worry because they will be there. Shopping will be open until late, yes? So that could be a, an advantage. And if you, uh, if you shop in a small village, uh, maybe the shop assistants are um, nicer, Yes, okay, um, they are kind, yes, okay, kinder, yes, okay, but in big shops, maybe not. Yes, let's see, this is very personal, okay? Shops, is that a good or a bad difference? Definitely good <laughs> for me. How long have you lived in London, Jackie? My dad changed jobs last year and we moved here from a small village on the coast, Garthen. Mm. I imagine it was difficult to get used to living in a big city. At the beginning it was really difficult. It took a while to get used to all the noise and the traffic and getting buses and the tube everywhere. Mm. Because in Garthen we walked everywhere. But of course, one of the biggest differences is the shops. Is that a good or a bad difference? Definitely good. <laughs> For me, that is. There's so much choice. Now I'm used to seeing loads of different types of shops on one street and shopping in these big shopping centres. But in Garthen, we had a couple of small shops and no big shopping centres or even supermarkets at all. It's the price of things that I can't get used to. Mm. You can get clothes very cheaply, but food is really expensive. My mum isn't used to paying so much for vegetables in particular. Mm. Also, I'm not used to the crowds you get in shops here. Is everybody in the city really rich? <sighs> and another thing I'm not used to, and that's how long the shops stay open. Some of them are open late into the night. Yes, a lot of shop assistants in London are used to working late. People often like to go shopping after work because they're very busy, so the shops stay open. You'll get used to it all in time. <laughs> all right, there we are. All right, good. So let's go number one. Yes, number one. Get used to. Number two, get used to. Number three, I'm getting used to. I'm getting used to sleeping early. Now, because I am, I'm getting up very, very, very early. Yes, okay. Number uh, four, can't, can't get used to. 
Yes, tell me one thing you can't get used to. Yeah? Hmm. I can't uh, get used to getting up early on Sundays. Okay? You see if you can't. Um, number five, Eastern used to um, paying. Number six, I'm not used to. Number seven, are used to working. And number eight, we'll get used to. Yes, okay. Uh, well, she said that um, she found, when she went to live in the city, she found there uh, a big, big um, variety of umbrellas and a big difference the, a big difference about in uh, difference in the prices on the prices yes okay clothes were very cheap and it's true it's the clothes are very cheap especially in bargains yes okay you want to buy everything yes and the, there you have there at that moment you have to make be wise and make the question this question do i really need this yes because you want to buy everything yes it's very very cheap yes Okay, and but the thing was that she made her say the question, do you have to be rich to live here? Because vegetables were very expensive. Yes, okay. Well, let's go to exercise four. I want you to do exercise four, five, uh, six, and seven. Yes, stop the video, do the activities, highlight the chart, highlight the grammar chart, the tip. Pay real attention here. Don't confuse yourself with used to. Used to is for the things, the habitual action that you did in the past. You used to do in the past. For example, I used to play tennis. I used to play with dolls when I was a child. I used to play hockey when I was 14 years old. But don't confuse. Be used to with get used to. Now you have the three used to actions in the past that you used to do in the past be used to yes be used to and get used to plus ing be used to for a state i am used to walking in the morning i am used to doing exercises three times a week Lo que estás acostumbrado a hacer. and get used to get used to plus ing is a changing situation yes okay algo a, a lo que te vas a acostumbrar a hacer. Me acostumbraré. Yes, ok, a hacer. Yes, ok. Me tengo que acostumbrar. Is it clear? So pay attention. This is the warning in the language tip. Highlight it, please. Yes, ok. You pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Ok. So let's go to pa, 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 pam, pam, pam. exercise 4. 1. Get used to. B. Used to, number three, can't get used to, number four, not used to. Exercise five. Yes, exercise five. Be used to and get used to plus ing. Number two, be used to describes a state. Number three, get used to describe a changing situation. Yes, okay. Highlight it, the grammar or the language tip. And now in exercise, and now in exercise six, you have to tell me. You have to write three things you weren't used to doing when you started these classes. Remember the first day that you came and write three sentences about the things you weren't used to doing. I wasn't, if I were you, I wasn't used to listening to teacher Ruth. I wasn't used to uh, teacher Ruth rhythm. I wasn't used to doing uh, the homework on time. But then I got used to doing the homework by the time. Yes. Um, I wasn't used to uh, speaking in English. Yes. Is it clear? Three sentences. And then three things you have got used to do now. Las que te has adaptado. Entonces ibas a escribir con present perfect. I have got used to listening to teacher Ruth. I have got to, I have got used to doing homework on time. I have got used to um, speaking in class all the time in English. Yes, is it clear? Yes, all right, we finished that. 
Now in exercise 7, you have to imagine someone has moved to town or city from the UK. What do you think they might say about the things below? Shopping, language, transport, weather and food. I am not used to... Yes, they can move to your town. Here. I, I am not used to eating barbecue. I can't get used to drinking terere. It took a while to get used to eating chipas. Now I am used to um, going to the riverside and it's difficult to get used to buying in the Mercadito, in the little market. Yes? Is it clear? These are my sentences. I want you to write your own examples. So, we have written this. You have listened to my, uh, listened to my own sentences. I have explained the difference between used to, get used to, and be used to plus ing. And now I want you to go to page 55 and talk about when you go shopping for food. Do you notice special offers or reductions? Have you ever found a surprising bargain? Yes or no? I want you to talk about that, yes? On vegetables or on clothes? Yes, I think on clothes. Uh, ah, yes, on those special uh, pair of trainers you have at home. Yes, think about that. It was surprising bargain that you say, okay, they must be broken, uh, you know. Is it true? It's a bargain, yes? Okay, una ganga, un ofertón, yes? Okay. Well, I want you to do exercise 2, yes, from page 55, yes, exercise uh, 2, exercise 3, and exercise 4, yes, is it clear? All right, there we are, do it and then I tell you the answer, okay, come on, do it. All right, there we are. Okay, number two, yes, two, three, and four, and then we're going to do the speaking in number five, okay? Exercise two, I prefer is follow, followed by two, yes? Number two is wrong, yes? Gave up, yes, okay, my job. Number three, wrong preposition, looking for, Yes, looking for. Number four, this pipe is followed by a noun. Despite the bad weather, yes, I continue living there in England. Yes, so the word there is although it was raining, we went to the market. Number five, uh, yes, uh, wrong the verb, did. We did our shopping because you do shopping. Number six are high, yes, the price was high, not tall, because with prices, the collocation is there. Remember, collocations are words that go together, go, words that go together, yeah, <coughs> sorry. For example, high prices, do shopping, yeah? Okay, um, let's go to exercise three. There was a mistake in the pricing, too, they brought huge, huge, numbers on and sold them on free return flights to Europe, the USA for customers who spent over 100 pounds. Number four, 1B. Yes, okay. 1B. Yes, 1B. 2C. 3A. 4D. 5C. 6C, 
7A, 8C, 9D, and 10D. That is the text there. And you have A, B, or C, the options, okay? Well, so before going to page uh, 56, I want you to think about this. Do you think the shoppers who bought the chocolate orange behave dishonestly? Why, why not? Yes, so I want you to think about it. Yes, for chocolate fans, it was a dream come true. A mistake at the cash desk of a well-known supermarket meant that the chocolate oranges that normally blah, blah, blah. Yes, it was... Um, Think about that, yes, okay, do, the shop, the, do, the, do you think the shoppers who brought the chocolate oranges behave dishonestly? Why? Yes, why not? Yes, I want you to talk about this at home, yes, okay? Um, sometimes promotions are wrong, yes, okay, but yes, I want you to think about it, yes, okay? Uh, think about what he did. Yes, if it was fair or not fair. Yes, okay. If it was uh, honest or dishonest. Okay. I want you to go to uh, page 56. Yes, and do you often buy things that you have seen advertised? Talk about something uh, an advertisement has persuaded you to buy recently. Yes, okay. For example, if you see uh, an advertisement. Yes. Wait a minute. Do they always persuade you? Do they always persuade people to buy the things, the products? Yes? So I want you to tell me this. Yes? Okay? How do you think they do to persuade people? Yes? Okay? Do they always persuade people? Just a, a kind of people. Yes? Okay? For example, buy this amazing pair of shoes. Uh, the best hiking shoes, you will look wonderful uh, on these shoes, uh, you will look um, stunning on these shoes, your husband would look at you with a different face, <laughs> yes, do you understand? Okay, how do you persuade customers, yes? Have you ever been persuaded by uh, an advertisement, yes, well, online, yes, uh, on TV, Yes, okay, I want you to think about that. Yes, okay. So let's go very quickly to, uh, it says in class you have, this, uh, you have been discussing advertising and you have to write an essay using all the notes, blah, blah, blah. Do you think that advertising can have that influence on young people? Yes or no? Yes? Advertising, advertising can have a bad influence on young people today. There is no doubt, doubt, yes, that advertising is an important part of our lives, posted as bright, colorful, yes, at TV, and TV commercials can be very clever, yes, and entertaining to watch, as well as these magazines and newspapers depend on advertising to survive, yes, they have to advertise, they have to sell to survive, yes, of course, without advertising we wouldn't know what to buy, However, in my opinion, advertising can cause a lot of problems. First of all, pay attention and I want you to highlight, first of all, I want you to highlight, however, I want you to highlight on balance. First of all, advertising encourage, encourages us to want things that we don't really need. Yes, that could happen to you, that you have been persuaded by an advertisement Yes, but then you say, okay, I bought them, but I really, I, I didn't really need them. Yes, so it has influence on us. Yes, I couldn't afford for that. Yes, in my view, this causes dissatisfaction and envy. Yes, however, for me, the biggest problem with advertising is the effect it has on children. Advertising campaigns that are aimed at children make them think about money and buying. This is true. Yes, because you see, yes, you know how many advertisements on new toys are there in the, uh, the days uh, previous uh, on um, the children's day. Yes, the children's day. Yes, okay. And the children, your daughter, your son, say, I want this, I want that. And then 
Okay, because if I don't have this, okay, my neighbor has it, yes, I really want it, I will feel very sad, I will feel very depressed. I will feel, indeed, like this, yes, so uh, it's difficult, yes, okay, for children, for, for young children, because for adults, well, you are an adult, but children, yes, okay, and uh, aim at children, make this thing money, buying things from a very young age, and you start buying everything. Then you have a toy shop in your house. You know, it happens to me, yes, because I say to my daughter, okay, we have to stop, we need to stop, because you have many toys. We need another room, another, uh, room for all the toys we have, yeah, so you have to think, yes, and I teach them, okay, think, do we really need this? We have this, the more toy. we have toys, okay, do we really need this? This is it. Put pressure on their parents to buy more and more things, and they start think that having the most recent designer designer clothes makes them more important. This happened to you, maybe. Yes, this happened to adolescents. Okay, if you have this uh, pair of shoes, the band shoes, yes, okay, you will be the best. You will be fashionable. Yeah, and you know, band shoes are very, very expensive, and they are made of lona. <laughs> yes, okay. And, um, well, think about that, yes, okay? But everybody wants that, okay? Good, and on balance, on balance, I think we have to accept that outward sizes will always be there with us. Nevertheless, we should try to protect children as much as possible. They need to learn that people and relationships are more important than uh, brands. Yes, okay? Think about that. Yes, I wanted to read that because that was very important. I wanted to share it with you. Yeah. And this is an essay. Yes. In the essay, you can put your own opinion. You can say your opinions. Yes. So, um, do you agree or disagree with the, with the writer's point of view? Maybe you will agree with some of the things I say. But in the majority of the, of the aspects, I agree with the writer, yes? Because I think, yes, um, advertisements, advertisement, yes, persuade us most of the time. But if you are an adult, it's okay. But the thing is, the problem if you are an adolescent, yes, if you are a teenager, if you are a child, yes, if you think that the last brand, yes, if you have the last brand, if you are wearing the last brand, you will be the best, you will have more friends, yes. And what happened with the ones that don't have this? How would it, how would they feel? How will they feel with that? Yes, okay? Think about that and tell if you agree or disagree with the point of view. And um, this is the homework part. I will finish the, the class explaining. We are going to go to the to page 164. That is, the, that is the essay explanation, yes, it's clear. So, um, you will do ex essay number one, that is exercise nine. It says, write an essay. Vieron que tienen el código de barra ahí? Yes, okay. Uh, ex essay exercise nine, 14 de 5, y la fecha de pedida, 14 de 5, 19 de 5, fecha de entrega, you must find in. On that date, 19 horas, siempre, yes, because the, les pongo el horario como si vinieran a clases, yes, a no ser que sean las revisiones. Um, and the task is in exercise 7. Acuérdate que la explicación está in exercise 7. It says, uh, do you think people buy a lot of things they don't need nowadays? So we have already talked in, your, in all the units about the consumer society. So you can think about all the things that we have already talked and think about the points, yes, okay, um, what's your point of view? Do you think we buy a lot of things, we buy things and we don't need these things we buy, yes, okay, it says things to write about, you made the brainstorming, yes, you have to write your brainstorming, brainstorm your ideas, important to have luxurious, uh, luxurious sometimes, Want to be like other people? Yes, yeah, sometimes if you use bands, you will be a, a skater. Like the famous skater in, in the United States. Uh, and number three, your own idea. Okay? Um, introduction to explain the issue. Highlight this. 
seven, eight and nine, seven and eight, you have the task, the explanation. Number two, give one point of view and reason. Number three, you have to give opposite point of view and reasons. And four, summarize your ideas in the conclusion. Yes? I want you to go to page 164. 164, because you have an essay. Remember, the report is one thing and the essay is another thing. Let's go there. There we are. Go to the page, please. Oops. All right. There we are. Okay, so you have this, yes, okay, you have this on page, yes, okay, I can't see anything, teacher, no, you have to see it in your book, yes, okay, did you go to the page, you have to go to page 164, page 164, okay, from the class book, okay, and you will find the model, yes, but I want you to highlight all the, the things there, okay, Yes, you have a, an example, a model, model A and model B, yes, on page 164. You have the task there. You have recently had a discussion in your English class about holidays. Yes, write an essay using all the notes, blah, 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 blah. Is it better to learn more about your own country rather than travel abroad on holiday? One, which is more expensive. Two, which is more educational. Your own idea. Yes, uh, write the essay between 140 and 190. And you have the useful language there. Yes, okay. Firstly, secondly, first of all, I would like to begin by saying another advantage, another disadvantage. Yes, okay. Most of us believe that you must use these words when writing the essay. Because if you don't use these words, your essay will be very poor. Yes, poor in content, poor in um, connectors, poor in grammar. Yes, giving opinion for me personally, I think, in my opinion. Giving reasons and examples. This is because the reason for this is... For example, for instance, try to change, use the synonym. Don't use always, for example, for example, for example. Try to use for instance. Yes, okay? Although, to give contrast, although, however, in contrast to, why it is true that, on the other hand. And here you have uh, the essay. You have two examples, model A and model B. Yes, so you have two. In the first paragraph, refer to statement to the statement, but try to rephrase it. Okay? Yes, you're going to start with a, a question. Which is, which is better? Sailing in your own country or traveling abroad on holiday? Yes? Although I can understand why some people think we should find blah, blah, blah. Yes? Paragraph 2. Do you use an appropriate semi-formal style? Okay? Acá el estilo va a ser semi-formal. No va a ser formal, va a ser semi-formal, ¿ok? Um, do add details to support your points. Sí que tenés que poner sí o sí detalles para qué. Para argumentar lo que vos escribís en el párrafo, ¿ok? ¿Es clear? And, uh, well, you have to use formal linking devices, yes? For example, in addition, yes? ¿ok? All the words you have there. Yes, okay, and then make your own opinion clear, okay, so you have to make your own opinion, entonces sabemos que en el essay puedes meter tu opinión, yes, you can give your opinion there, 
Yes, you have to give the conclusion. Yes, in the conclusion, you give you, you can give your opinion. Yes, um, clearly. Okay, and then you have the model B. Yes, okay. The introduction, the body, and the ending. Uh, you can refer to people's opinion. Yes, many people said that. Many people say that they say that they like to go abroad to learn a new language. Yes balance the conclusion although i can see attraction of going abroad in my opinion there are definitely more benefits to travel around your own country than to travel benefits to traveling around your own country yes you have example b and example a, a and b okay the two models yes okay about writing yeah. well i tell you something this is my advice if you always have problems um, with the organization, organization of paragraph, you must do the brainstorming. Yes, okay? This um, text, this essay, we have 150 words. Okay? Comencemos con 150 words. 150 palabras. Yes? Okay? No more, no less, but 150. Organize your ideas in a brainstorming. Uh, good luck. Happy weekend. Uh, used to be used to plus ing and get used to plus ing plus the essay. Bye bye, fifth. Happy weekend.